Larry Drew the second is checked in for Sioux Falls. So too as Torre Murray. This is Drew off target from three. Usually Andre Ingram is an early sub or comes off the floor early in the first quarter, but Speedy Smith unavailable tonight for LA in the backcourt. A right wrist injury that has him out. He can be ready for when Summer League rolls around. 90 seconds to go. DeAndre Liggins just throws it up. Winnington to Keith Benson. A bit of a hitch in his shot as he misses. The Jet open for three. Well beyond the line and left it short. Torrey Murray without numbers, pushing. To Ligon, slithers inside. And it was caught on the baseline. Uh, being down only five points towards the end of this first quarter, having shot under 30% from the field so far, certainly haven't played their best, and still be within reach of the Sioux Falls team that came out of the gate so quickly. And they trail 10-0 early. Turned over in game two just nine times, part of their success in their must-win victory. Murray drives in, bodies up against Holyfield and flips it in. And how good was Murray? Last night he came in an offensive spark from the bench. He hit some very timely three-pointers and it showed just the veteran presence that he could bring for this team. Majet drives to the rim and lays it in. Just relentless on the penetration for Josh Majet. Back to a five-point game. The more Josh Majet does that, finds some baskets at the hoop, hopefully it will open up the floor for guys like Ryan Gomes or when a Andre Ingram, Ingram is in the game to knock down some open perimeter shots as well. Step back Drew at the end of the shot clock. Just three seconds left. Gomes fires. No good. Five point lead for Sioux Falls. The reason for that was the mindset and the approach by Jarnell Stokes going at the basket and just adjustments they made offensively, but more than anything went back to his bruising big man self of just pump. Josh Majet rimmed out on a three. The defender 17 points tying their season low for first quarter points. They said their brand of basketball is. Collected by Sioux Falls. Craig Winnington drives baseline, sees the double team and L.A. forces the turnover. Excellent help there by Holyfield. Harper clogged up. Last night, but what stands out most, just four field goal attempts, didn't get a lot of touches. Credit Los Angeles' defense, but 13 points already for Stokes. Looked like it might have went off the Jets' foot. But L.A. ball in, in this game has been chippy early on, and that will continue. Full Corp, Vander Blue off to a slow start. Averaging 30 points per game in these finals. Josh Majet lost the handle, and then it was knocked out by Torre Murray. Los Angeles gets the ball back, but they lead the league in fewest turnovers. They don't have many unforced ones like that. You mentioned how difficult LA thought it would be to beat Sioux Falls in back-to-back -back games. Only once this entire season did Sioux Falls lose consecutive contests at home. Well, and they had, prior to last night, they hadn't lost here at home in close to three months. Craig Whittington for two. And Whittington from the three-point line certainly was a factor there in game two of this production and what we had seen, 17 points for him. Vander Blue, now just one of six from the field, looking for a call. Going hard to the hoop and Blue with just two points so far in this game, but he's a guy who likes to play downhill attack mode. 
and he's going to need to get something going for this defender's team if they want to hang in. The Jet blocked by Benson. Gets it back, though. The low feet to Holyfield is knocked out of bounds by Sioux Falls. Disjointed play the regular season games. Justin Hawkins has checked in for L.A. Return to the lineup in game two after missing three straight playoff games. It's a trifecta for Josh Majette and back to a five-point game. You see the mismatch there. Murray was on Harper, but Majette shooting over Benson. Critical basket. Whittington, catch and shoot. Rebound down to Majette. Cross court for Blue. Good hands by Whittington. Up ahead, Magruder. Well, what's been the difference? What's changed? So I, I don't think anything has changed at all. I don't think there's a difference. And that's the type of attitude in mind because he plays within the context of the offense. It'll stay. What, can do. what Magruder can do. Benson inside. Ingram after his own miss. And the 6-4 Ingram sticks it back with one hand. Magruder is open, missing from three. Communication on that LA zone, they're really clogging up the paint, they're staying inside. And at this point, you, you gotta think that they're just forcing the sky force to take those outside looks, hope they'll miss like we saw Magruder do just there. Vander Blue just shoved on the baseline. Two points, the lowest total Sioux Falls has scored these playoffs. And it did, it, it threw them off, it, it namely, in taking the ball out of Stokes' hands in position at the block to score, but it's different looks, it's mixing things up. Justin Harper, no good from three. On the reload, it's Hawkins. A third opportunity for Vander Blue. That got left short. And you can't say it about every miss, but you got to start to wonder. Vander Blue, Josh Majed both played 48 minutes last night. Does that affect their legs as we see Whittington hit that corner three, a factor from the three-point arc? Six-point swing. Laughter, the release. You're a shooter. You want that call. You want, you want any call. If you, you're holding your hand, your wrist, you're looking at the ref. I don't think they, they're going to buy that, though. Another offensive rebound for L.A. The Jet, bounce pass, Harper for the lane. Draw the defense, create dish off to your open teammate. That was such a, a, a simple, fundamental play, but it's what Josh Majet can do that makes him so good as a distributor. And, of course, Justin Harper, a guy they have such great chemistry feeding off of his teammate. Stokes finds the cutting Magruder. Game six. That heroic performance where LeBron would just not come off the floor as motivation for Vander. Off the block, numbers for the defenders. Harper driving against Stokes and lays it in. I like to see that, that Harper getting involved, what he can do, get to the basket, even Vander Blue try and get going. He led the league in free throw attempts, maybe seeing a couple of those go in adding points on the board. Anytime you're a scorer, you see the ball go through the hoop. It adds to your feel, your flow, your rhythm of a ball game. Nearly midway through the second quarter. Torrey Murray falling, falling back, missing the shot. Blue wants to run without numbers. Ingram from the elbow, in and out. We got a lot of rest in the stands. Sure do. Another packed house here in Sioux Falls. It's been an awesome environment. The atmosphere, the arena. This is a very educated basketball town. Dan Casey and Casey Owens have both said, or Dan Craig, I should say. Rodney Magruder drills a three. They love their Sky Force, and they have been out to support them this entire regular season, as they saw. The record broken for D-League wins 40. It's been quite a year for the Sky Force game. They finish it off. Vander Blue gets to the cup. And the record they broke, the 38 wins 
by LA back in 2012. The last time a finals went to three games, the defenders lost to the Austin Toros. Liggins fires from three and connects. But 45 minutes last night, it's not going to be easy for this starting five for Los Angeles in the back to back, but they're ready to empty the tank. And the trend continues tonight for LA. That these LA players have said we're used to it. It's how we played in the playoffs. Lost some teammates to injury. But they said, what more do you want? An opportunity to play for a championship? You don't want to come off the floor. Torrey Murray left a three short. Jarnell Stokes battling for the rebounds. First half. And speaking of stars, Jarnell Stokes, number two on the NBA D League prospect watch list. Spent some time with Miami earlier this season and is concluding the year here in Sioux Falls. Harper spins and it's blocked away. Nigel Spikes earning his first minute. Death for depth for Dan Craig Pinson, a guy who hasn't seen a minute in the finals and makes an impact immediately. Played just a total of two minutes in the Eastern Conference Finals did Spikes. Whittington attempts to thread a pass that's kicked out of bounds. The Sky Force. They're going to a zone. They've been trapping. They've been showing some double teams. But they got to make sure that they continue to pack it in the paint because the Sky Force produce best when they get the ball inside like they did. You like your matchup if Vander Blue can take it at a player like Nigel Spikes. A low scoring first half. Who does that favor? I mean, I think it favors the Sky Force because that's how they want to play. They want to play more in the half court. They're defensive minded. If they can keep LA off the scoreboard and not let them. Dub because Connor Henry, who was supposed to be the head coach of the defenders this season, earned a job as an assistant with the Orlando Magic. It's not just the players, but the coaches also looking for that call up. DJ Suck Shumpert with a good block of spikes. And while Sioux Falls with one another, an impressive group, but it does start with KCO, as I think we've seen it in practices, speaking with him, the attitude that he brings. Air ball at the end of the shot clock. Speed for Sioux Falls is eight. They jumped out to a 10-0 start to begin the game. Majette driving. The kick out to Harper. The outside shooting so important in game two. It's not there in game three. Vander Blue can't hit from the outside. Contrast because of their limitations in depth and also because the way the Sky Force team plays, wanting to slow things down to a half more game. Paulo uses the screen. Murray pump fakes from a three. Spikes keeps it alive. Three quarters of a minute to go in the first. Tere Murray, bending guards in the lead. Number one in steals, but also the type of player that's willing to give up his body for the good of the team. Vander Blue drives up with the left hand, does not get the roll. Gets in the way of Murray and Cole. Defense. Defense. LA to hold for one. The Jet with Harper. It's skipped to the corner for Ingram. Just throws one up. And Greg preaches, and it's what his system requires. And each one of these players has trust in one another as we see winning. D-League Finals, Sioux Falls took game one on the road in LA. The defenders won game two to set up this decisive game three. The defenders already shorthanded entering the night, lost Ryan Gomes at halftime, and Sioux Falls exploiting, using their depth to take a big time lead here in the fourth.
try to close out the finals. Andre Ingram from the corner. And you saw it early. So many of these players playing major minutes. Last night for LA, a lot of their short, uh, shots have been short. They have been, and credit the Sky Force defense because we know that they, the defenders team has continued to fight. LA with just 48 points here in the fourth quarter. A team that averages well over 100 during the regular season. The Jet, the miss, flying in, shuffle. That, that's what makes the finals a championship so special because of things like that. And, and this crowd has been spectacular in that manner. It was early in game one for these two teams that had not seen each other during the regular season. The jarring started very early. <laughs> it didn't take long. And you wonder that because they're not familiar with one another. You're not facing up against each other during the regular season. But they knew exactly what was at stake. The Jet scores underneath just the 49th and 50th points here for LA. Their lowest output of the postseason, 83 on the road against Austin. This number one rated Sioux Falls defense doing a number on the defenders. Number one during the regular season, points per game, number one. Oppo op opposition field goal percentage. Very few open looks on offense for LA. Ingram hoist. <laughs> nice shot to win it. Good performance for Ligon thus far. You know the old four. <laughs> Sioux Falls with a 25 point lead against shorthanded LA. Harper fires from three, front of the iron. We certainly don't want to get ahead of ourselves here, but we talk to both sides, but these players emphasizing just the opportunity to win a championship at the professional level. They said that's something that doesn't come along very often. They're savoring that chance. And, and you know, so many of these guys. LA did not. Sioux Falls trying to bring home the championship after a record regular season. Sioux Falls just keeps pouring it on, but not a lot of answers Defense. for LA. Defense. Given the short bench they now have, and, and you can see. In these finals entering tonight's game three. DeAndre Liggins with seven on the timer. Backing down Majet, creates space. Left it short. Majet after the rebound, ripped away by Stokes. For the flush. It had said earlier, he said, of course, my dream was to be wearing a, a Memphis Grizzlies jersey, a Miami Heat jersey during the season. But he said, that, that's not in anymore. My dream, my goal right now is to win a championship. Game, even game two, sending second players at him, double team in traffic. Defense. And the Sky Force team is so Defense. loaded with potent scores that Stokes drawing that attention opens things up for his teammates. And it just made this team so difficult to guard. And obviously, a major reason why they were able to set that D League regular season record. Injury in game two, second half. LA did not have Ryan Gomes. That effectively ended their chances to take game three on the road. Extra pass to Murray. Stokes the offensive rebound. Whittington opts to take more time off the clock. Trawick against Jumper. Murray. Whittington with seven on the timer. Works against Harper. Trawick for three. Offensive rebound, Boo Boo Pablo. Into the MVP. Kick out Murray. Pablo takes it, defended well by Ingram, but he knocks it off of his own man. 
His choice was to come back to Sioux Falls. Is that a major factor in that? Of course, the winning and knowing that this was a place where he could continue to improve. Vander Blue working against Benson. Blows right by him and then misses the layup. Just that type of night for both sides. Started every single playoff game, and Sioux Falls will end the postseason with a 6-1 record. Benson the block. Blue lines up for three, well short. Numbers for Sioux Falls. Out of bounds to LA. And credit Sky full job he did with his defenders team this season and particularly throughout the postseason. They emerged from the West as the number four seed, winning a pair of game threes on the road in prior rounds. Vander Blue makes the layup, goes crashing into the crowd, and he's a bit slow to get up on the other end of the floor. He's starting to jog the other way. L.A. playing defense with just four. Vander Blue trying to walk it off as Trawick got to the rim. Jamal Branch has checked in for the first time.